Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know don't you, you know. Right, we're Ian Eddie Earns, back with a bang. Right, I've just told you what his box rec opponent average ranking were, 142. That's down about 60% on what he used to do. Frank's opponent ranking for the away fighters, 373, that's even worse. So we've got two promoters here that are not working together. They've put three fights on in 10 years. Frank's reached out to Eddie Earn. He's even done an interview on Seconds Out with that rimmer, Danny Flexen, saying, ah, oh, this is how I met Barry Earn and this and that, blah de blah. I had a fruit machine business. He had a fruit machine business, blah de blah. We did snooker breakaway tournament, blah de blah. Well, Barry Earn's good at that, isn't he? He did darts breakaway tournament, isn't it, didn't he? Probably try and do a boxing one soon. Point I want to make is they need each other more than ever now because boxing is dying on its arse. Dying on its arse. Eddie put five fights on at weekend, Frank put six. All Eddie's won except Shannon Courtney and people are saying that she should have won. All six of Frank's won. Well, they're going to do when the fighting guys rank like I've just told you. Some of them were ranked 800 and odd. I mean, it's a guaranteed win, isn't it, or a knockout. Carl Frampton ranked, what is he, 6 or 7 on box rank, fighting a guy ranked 360, former pound-for-pound pound superstar. This is not good, and what if that kid got hurt? I mean, he got iced, didn't he? I mean, who, 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 who's going to stand up then and say, I signed him off on that fight? These are not fights. The knockovers and gimme fights. People should be queuing up to fight now. But they've got, it's got to be better, but why are these big fights not happening? Why is Joshua Fury not happening? What, what's happening there? Why is Fury against White not happening? Why is White against Joshua rematch? Why didn't that happen? What, what were all that about? Who's to blame? People need to come out and start telling the truth. There's this shroud of mystery around these fights and... Nobody dare come out and speak the truth. I don't want to see sparring clips or sp I don't want to hear about sparring stories about Dylan White against Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury punches him upside down. Dylan White's fat as a pig Michelin man. Did you see the state of him in Saudi? He's been on slide since he fought Joseph Parker. Dylan White left everything in the ring after round 10 against Joseph Parker. That's the bottom line. Since then he's had a few fights, Chisora, Wack. And he, he's looked shocking. Fat as a pig Michelin man. So I want to see fights. I don't want to hear about people building up little bank balances, but yet talking about legacy. It's not good. I want to see John Ryder rematch Callum Smith. Callum Smith needs to grow a pair. I want to see Canelo, Billy Joe, or Triple G against Billy Joe. I don't want to see Billy Joe in with a yet another keep busy fight or a tune up fight. It's shocking. What's going on is scandalous. Nobody's saying a word, are they? Because they all want to get on Sky. It's not good for fans. Alright? So, peace out.